What do you think of when you think of a suit? Sometimes three-piece, sometimes two, dressed up or informal, special occasion or workwear. For man, woman, and child, the suit has been the go-to combination for some of the most important events of the last few centuries. With its origin in London, the suit has become fashionable around the globe. Made in an endless array of colors, fabrics, textures, and combinations, the suit is an icon with the power to convey a variety of meanings from elegance, formality, and experience, to conformity and control. But how can one garment so successfully represent and embody all these meanings? The suit is a well-designed and versatile item, a real piece of engineering with the ability to transform the body. Although the transformation of the body has been more obvious throughout the history of women's fashion, such as the use of the corset, high heels, or even the modern wonder bra, the transformation from menswear had, for the most part, to be subtle and, preferably, undetectable. And this is one of the reasons why most don't even consider the suit as a highly engineered garment, since the secrets of the suit are hidden on the inside. In order to understand the concealed secrets of a suit, we must dissect it. At the top of the suit is the shoulder, which straightens and broadens the natural shape of the wearer through a buildup of layers called the shoulder pad, which can be made of a variety of materials, including wool, cotton, and horsehair. Created in a way that not only visually alters the silhouette, the shoulder pad creates a shell in which the shoulder and the top of the arm are allowed to move freely without distorting the line of the jacket. The chest of a suit gives the impression of a smooth and flat figure through an inner layer called the floating chest piece. This semi-rigid layer extends from the shoulder pad to the front hem, smoothing the lines of the chest and profile. This piece is perhaps the most important part of a suit as it presents a wild variety of figures with an overall similar silhouette. Built on top of the floating chest piece, the outer layer of the suit is cut in a way that provides the wearer with an indented waist. Furthermore, the placement of the pocket and often the pocket flap are positioned to provide attention to the hips. And in some instances, even padding can be found on the inner layers of the hip to help create the ideal shape. The collar is the centerpiece of a jacket. It provides the framing for the tie, neck, and face. In better quality suits, the collar is where a lot of hand sewing is done. A closer inspection of this suit shows a pattern of diagonal hand-sewn stitches which aid in keeping the line of a collar crisp and clean throughout the life of a suit. In the end, all of these various parts work in harmony to create the modern suit, with many of the greatest advancements in design and production happening right here in London. <laughs>